I presented the outcome of a validation study that we did with the US GOG group about what patients with advanced ovarian carcinoma uh, have the maximum benefit from bevacizumab. Um, bevacizumab has been approved for patients with stage 3 and 4 disease. However, there is still a big debate about what patients should actually be treated. Because um, the outcome of the main two large phase three trials were inconsistent about the characteristics of patients who had a benefit in overall survival. And because there is no validated biomarker of uh, bevacizumab efficacy. So the rationale of the study is we assume that the tumor primary chemosensitivity in some way how the tumor is sensitive to the chemotherapy we start uh, and that we can assess with the model CA125 kinetic parameter KLIM could be an interesting parameter to identify the patient who would have a benefit from bevacizumab. So in an initial uh, analysis of the ICON-7 trial, we found that among patients with high-risk disease, meaning those with stage four or incompletely resected stage three, only those who had poorly chemosensitive disease, meaning unfavorable KLIM, had a benefit in overall survival about, by about nine months. So we needed a validation study, and this is what we did with the GOG group. So we calculated the KLIM on the patient enrolled in the GOG 0 to 18, and the uh, US GOG group did the statistics. And very interestingly, what we found, it were very consistent with what we had with ICON-7. Among high-risk disease patients, only those who had unfavorable KLIM had a benefit in overall survival by about six months. Those patients who had favorable KLIM and high risk disease had no benefit from bevacizumab. And more, strangely, uh, more surprisingly, what we found is that uh, among patients with low risk disease, those who had highly chemosensitive disease with favorable KLIM score, they had a deleterious effect of bevacizumab on their overall survival. So what can we conclude of that? It's we really now have consistent outcome on the two main large phase three trial of bevacizumab. Um, bevacizumab benefit is strongly related to the tumor primary chemosensitivity. And really we believe that bevacizumab should be encouraged in patients with ovarian carcinoma who have a high risk disease, stage four, or incompletely resected stage three, and poorly chemosensitive disease assessed by unfavorable KLIM. But it should probably be discouraged in patients who have low risk disease, like completely resected stage three disease, unfavorable uh, KLIM score, because we don't very know uh, very well the effects. So now I really think we have reconciled the data of both large phase three trials. The survival curve are very similar and we have very uh, consistent data.